Hello everybody and welcome back to Shay's Hobby Dog Bay. We're gonna do something together. I am sitting here at my tray in my living room and um, I think I have figured out on my selfie stick for my phone, which is what it's on right now, it does have this little tightener to tighten up the thing that makes it, you know, lean down to see or pick up. So I think I finally got that worked. And I had to redo my jar. I took it all the way out. It just wasn't holding right. It wasn't all the way in there good. Took it all out, and then I set it in there and then started putting the rocks all around it. So I think that's good and tight now, too. So that is good. Okay. Elizabeth had a great idea, and I love it, and I'm going to do it. So I'm going to share this with y'all also. Okay. So I'm going to tilt y'all down to the tray where you can watch what I'm doing. I will talk to you and explain what I'm doing as I do it, okay? All right, thank you. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can get this to do right now. All right, y'all give me a minute. Uh, okay, we want it to go. And then I've got two. Okay, so you're seeing both sides of my tray. See my hands wiggling? And then you see, like, this is the front of it. So to be honest with you, you're seeing the top of the books. So this is the camera holder vase. There is nothing right here. This side you're seeing, and this is just the books here. You see my hand, the end of the books. See there? And that's just this end to me. Okay. Remember the books that I picked up yesterday for my Gracie girl for Christmas. Now, yeah, they're old books, okay? But they're the little golden books. And I have been for the longest wanting to collect a whole bunch of these. I'd love to be able to get every single one of them. And I know there's a slew of them out there. But anyway... Um, I can't afford to do it brand new full price, you know, so you get uh, hand-me-downs. These look pretty good. So these right here is a stack of all the Christmas ones that was in that big box of books. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight now this one's not a christmas one but it makes nine and the reason for that is i'm gonna do this as an advent calendar for gracie girl since they were this many christmas ones i'm already making her a pocket letter which is nine pockets in the baseball pocket sleeves. It's not through yet, but here is the cards I'm working on. For her to have a nine-day advent calendar, nine days before, uh, so I don't have all of the bags done yet, nine days before Christmas to open up one a day in the pocket letter. So then Elizabeth said that I should, uh, wrap these up the christmas ones and each day let her pick one and then i read it to her so i wanted it to be the same amount as the nine day pocket letter advent so we could just do it all together so that's why i added the one more book that wasn't a christmas book and elizabeth said she would really she really likes trains so we're doing that one okay so I am going to uh, wrap each of these up, and I just thought I'd come on here and do it with y'all, let y'all watch me. Okay, I'm going to lay them right here. I've cleaned these up real, real good, the best I could. They look real good to be used books. Okay. Oh, let me get my paper. I got it 
down here in the floor. Now, y'all, I am not a good gift wrapper. I am not a professional. I am not perfect with it. Uh, and, you know, people say I use too much wrapping paper. So, I don't know. I just do the best I know how and I can. So, I hope y'all will be okay with that. I'm trying to cut this while I'm holding it up in the air. And see, I don't cut straight either. And I don't even really, really, really give it a, a big push to try to cut straight and even. I mean. So, let's see what we can do here. If I do it, because I would like the wrapping paper to be, will this work? Will that cover the back up? And then if I do another side, I think it will. Okay. So, let me come and cut. Actually, it is. Okay. Give me a minute. And this is, with me having nine books to wrap, and the way I'm slow, this is going to be long. So see, that right there basically covers it. There's a little bit. And if I bring this over, that'll be okay. Alright, I'm going to cut it right here. I hope that works. Then maybe I can use this one for one. Okay. Like I said, it's not straight and I'm just eyeballing it. Now that one's kind of warped and lifting up. I'm going to see if I can push it down and pull that paper tight. Alright, I have my flamingo tape holder here. Well, it's stuck to it. All right, now let's make sure again this is tight. Okay. Now I see I've got more hanging over here than I do over here. Tough luck, it's done tape. So I can't help that. Let's do this end first. Okay, first off, I'm going to try to be a little bit neater. Normally, I don't do this. I'm going to fold it in so that that part, you won't see the cut rigid way. And we usually like to do, I like to do, you know, fold it like this and make it have a point. That's the way my mama always did it. Some people will just fold it over straight. And I never can get that part straight either. So, there's that. And also another thing, a lot of people say I put too much tape. So, I'm going to try this time to not put too much tape. I mean, it is Gracie Girl. <gasps> See, there I go tearing it. Well, well, well. And it needs to be easy for her to open up. So, that's the advent calendar I'm going to do for my little Gracie girl. A nine pocket pocket letter. I'm going to put where that tore right here. I don't know how well that will work. but Alright, um... There's one. I don't know. Do y'all think I should put her name on them? Or, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Let me get... Where'd I 
lame. Here they are. <laughs> Oh, uh, loudy, loudy, loudy. Now, I want to make sure. Is that going? Yeah, it's going. It's not doing right. It's not sideways. It was when I turned it up. When I bent it down, it went the long ways again. So I guess that's going to be messed up now. Okay, I want it like this. That really needs to be out of my way. Maybe I can reach over there and lay them. So this one here, I don't know if I read that one. I can't remember what it was now. Mickey's Christmas Carol. You watch this one. See there? That's a bigger gap. And then that won't... Oh, that's going to leave too much open. Well, well, well. I guess on some of them, it ain't gonna hurt to have it not right. Let's see if it'll work better this way. Yes. Okay. Let's get my tape. Whoops. Okay, so let's see. Um... Nine days before Christmas is what? I'm not going to do it on the 25th. So the 24th will be the last day of the Advent calendar. I, I usually, and in the past, should I do it that way? I think I will. It's kind of short to do the the uh, turn downs, the corners. That's what made me tear that other one. So anyway, I usually even when I do an advent calendar, I always liked to do the 25th too, the day of Christmas. But uh, this time, I don't think I will. I think I'll let 24 be the last day. So, because we're going to have nine, because it's nine pockets in the pocket letter, so I'm letting her open nine books. I will let her open the pocket letter, because she'll get a sweet, you know, a candy in there. Plus, probably some other little something, and then she can pick a book and open it. And while she's eating her sweets, she can sit back and Granny can read the book to her. That's my plan. So... What day? Oh, come on. This is not wanting to work for me, or either I'm not good. Don't know how to do it right. It's probably what the case is. So there's number two. All right. So this time I'm going to get a different wrapping paper. I've got three different ones down here. Okay. Um, what day does that make it? Nine days. I've got to take a minute. 24. Can y'all see my hand? 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Nine days. So on the 16th of December is when this will start. one at least wrapped you know up and down right so I'm going to cut To just cut it right in the middle. Oh, Lord. 
I guess because it's Christmas time. The UPS truck passed a while ago. Now FedEx just passed. <laughs> okay. I slept late. I'm not feeling too, too good. I have a, a sore throat. My nose is running. I've sneezed a couple of times and I feel kind of achy. Oh my word. Hold on to it, Sherry Ann. <sighs> So, it's like this, so I want it to be like this. Hopefully that will work. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm not feeling the best. I hope that don't mean that I am getting sick, like real sick, like a virus or a flu kind of thing. And I don't even know the difference between the two. To me, they seem like they're one and the same thing, to be honest with you. So, anyway, I'm just hoping. I do have some night quill. And, you know, I don't take that stuff as much as I used to back in the day. To be honest with you, actually, back in the day, that was my sleeping medicine. Every night. Whether I was sick or not, I took a dose of night quill just so I could go to sleep. Because I can't go to sleep on my own. Not until forever, forever, and forever. So I need help to go to sleep. And today, I take Benadryl to help me go to sleep. It's what my doctor told me to take, but I used to do night quill. And now I know they have the night quill Z's that is just for going to sleep instead of being sick. I don't even know if I've ever took that or not. But anyway, I think I like folding it this way. Seems to be neater and go easier and faster for me. But anyway, so I used to take night quill all the time and then I, I actually really and truly lived by it for when I got sick. I mean, the first signs of getting sick, I went and got night quill and started taking that because it helps. It knocks it out. So I've got some night quill. I don't take it as much as I used to. I don't take it every night to sleep and even when I'm sick. Like right now, used to back in the day when I felt this sore throat, I would have just done took some. When I got up this morning and ate my breakfast and took my medicines, I would have took my night quill. And then right now, I'd be back in the bed asleep because of it. Well, see, I got too much fun stuff that I want to do now during the day. So, I don't want to go to sleep. So, I'm doing my best to, you know, make myself wait, even though I don't feel good, till tonight to take night quill. And... I'm going to take my night quill tonight. I won't take my Benadryl because I don't need both. I'll just take my night quill. It'll help me sleep and hopefully it'll start knocking this mess out. So that it don't get too bad. Now I don't like how that's hanging over like that. But it is just... Maybe she won't care. Alright. That's three down. Now this one, I don't know if I can do. Okay, this one is... Did I read that one to y'all? I forgot. I can't wait until Christmas. Okay, and Big Bird is uh, marking off the days. Counting the days down. I guess that's his advent calendar. Will this work to do this? I think it will. I think it will. But shouldn't I do it to match the other one and kind of be sideways? You know, I think I'm going to do it that way. And you watch it not work good this way. Yeah, it's going to be narrow. Narrow, narrow, narrow. And I know that's not saying it right. Hey, it's good enough. Yep. It'll work. 
it'll work. So anyway, I slept late last night. Uh, I slept late last night, y'all. I can't even talk right. <laughs> I slept late this morning. So I didn't get up till about 11 something. So I went through doing my breakfast and my medicine and reading my Bible. All of that. Okay, don't get stuck. Come on. Thank you. Hey. This is not wanting to. Y'all give me a minute. I gotta concentrate here for a minute. Okay. So once I was through with breakfast and all of that, uh, I didn't have many dishes to do today, so I've got them down now where I've got them to a manageable amount. And if I can just keep it that way, that would be so wonderful. So, 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 so wonderful. Cause I got in there and done what few dishes I had. They're all done. I even put some blankets on to wash that needed washing. There wasn't much straightening up here in the living room I needed to do. I went and made up my bed. So everything is done. The chores in the house for the day. And, um, I also did things like checked my email and my video on my YouTube that I got put up last night and just checked all the things on my phone like that, you know, the Facebook, cleared, cleared out some of my emails, seen what new videos I had in. I've watched one or two videos, but not many. Um, then I got started on, I got the things out, got all this ready to do. Cleaned up the books, set up the camera, because I wanted to do this on video while talking to y'all. Okay. Oh. And uh, here I am doing this. And I'm not planning on going anywhere today. And uh, huh. that's kind of wrinkled. And then the way it's cut here, that would be a short part to do. I think I'm just going to cut that whole piece off. Let it all be even. And it won't be wrinkled. As even as I cut it anyway. Okay, so now we're going to cut here. I don't have a big enough table, so it's easier for me to hold it up in the air and just cut it off. There we go. Since I don't worry about getting it straight and even and nice and neat and cut good and not jagged and all that. <laughs> Alright, so now this one. Okay, that one's like that. Get the next book. So this is The Sweetest Christmas. Alright, so it would be... That's upside down. I have to see it right myself to make sure I know I'm doing it right. So I want it like this. So let's turn it over. Yes. Good enough. Good enough. So let's, let's cut it about right here. Okay. Alright, so.
so this is the dragon side. So the rest of my plans for the rest of the day. When I finish wrapping these here on camera with y'all. Um, I'm going to go out and check the mail, I think. I haven't done that yet. And then I've got, I still got the whole big box of other books because this is just nine books out of the whole big box. I think it's 76 books all together. So what I'm going to do, and that stuck on there. <sighs> What I'm going to do, what am I going to do? I don't know. I can't hardly concentrate. I'm going to clean up, because I ain't cleaned them up yet. I just picked these out, and I've cleaned them up so I could get them wrapped. So I'm going to clean up all the other books. I'm going to clean that box out. And, uh, stack the books in there nice and neat so they all fit good and none is sticking up over and out of the box and bulgy and all that kind of stuff. And then, I'm going to wrap that whole big box of books and that one I will put on there to Gracie from Granny and it will go under the tree so once I do that buddy boy don't mind once I do that, oh, wait a minute, halt, hold back. Before I do that, I'm going to get through with this and check the mail. I think it's going to be my lunchtime. So I'm going to have to take a break and sit back. I'll have to fix me something to eat. And uh, I'll watch me a couple of videos while I'm eating. Then... I can clean the books and clean the box out and stack them nice and wrap them up. Now this one is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I actually remember having this very book when I was a little girl. I gotta take a sip of water. <sighs> so... So after I get the big box, after I bake lunch and after I get the big box wrapped up and under the tree, what comes next? I have this big, long video. And y'all, when I say big, long video, it's not one of my long, normal long videos. It is 88 minutes and something. I did it yesterday. I kind of did like a vlog all day long. So I vlogged me doing some cleaning. I talked about what I was going to do, about going getting these books. I showed these books when I got back with them and then we went somewhere last night and did something. I showed that. So it's a very long video. But I'm not going to put it up that long. I'm going to go in there and work on it and take my time and see if I can figure out how to cut. I've never really done that yet with this new 
editor that I'm using, the video shop. I went in, you know, and tried some things to, to learn and see where the buttons are and how I would be able to do that. But I've not actually really used it to do it, you know, real good and right yet. And I want to see how much work that's going to be, see if I'm going to like it and can handle it. Or will this be the last time I ever do it, which that'll probably be the one right there, the last time I ever do it. If it's a lot of work involved to do, I can't handle it. I'm sorry. But anyway, so I will, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them done. Got three more to go. All right, three more wrapping papers. So we'll do one of each again. So, if I can get it. But I need to take my time and work on that video and see if I can get some long, mundane cleaning parts. During when I was cleaning, there were some times that I had left out of the room to go find something, and that took forever coming back. I'm going to cut those parts out, you know, all that kind of stuff. Try to get it cut down where it's not so long, but also I'm wanting to try to see if I can uh, keep it together as a cool vlog. It's not what I normally do. I normally make, yeah, my videos are long, but they're like about one thing, a video. Yeah, either I'm going to chat with you or I'm going to show you a craft I've done or I'm going to do a shout out or, you know, a haul, which is very seldom. I don't get to do that very much. Love to. But anyway... And whatever, you know. So, or a cooking thing. So anyway, I want to try to see, because I wanted to try to see if I could do videos that seemed more like a vlog. I've watched this lady that vlogs, and she lives by herself. Of course, she's young, but she does a lot of cleaning and shopping and hauls in her vlog. Everything she does all day long, and I just got to thinking... Well, if she can do that, I should be able to do that. I guess I always thought, because the other vloggers I watch is families. Of course, they're younger. This lady I watch, I'm talking about does it by herself, is even younger than me. But, uh, the others are young. It's a family, a mom and dad, and several kids. And they all are involved in the videos and the vlog, and they show everything they all are doing you know and all that kind of stuff so i guess i kind of felt like i don't vlog my family my girls never did want to be on video and now that katie's married and got gracie she don't want gracie on video and albert yeah he's been on them with me before but he stays gone all day long and works and <laughs> lately he's in a bad mood and no fun and I don't really want him on my vlogs. <laughs> so, it's just me. And so that's why I felt like I really couldn't do good vlogs. Even though I call them vlogs sometimes. But, um, I wanted to see if I could try to do like that girl did, that lady does. And really make a good vlog, even though it is just me doing it. So I gave it a try, and with me having the things I had to do, I had to clean, and then I had to run to town to get these books, and when I got back, I showed the books, and then last night we went somewhere and done something. Even though that was with my family, I didn't really, uh, well, there's one time there I kind of snuck it in, <laughs> but I wasn't really trying to show my family. I was just showing what, where we was at and what we was doing and seeing. And so it kind of worked out. I had some good stuff, a lot of good stuff to show, you know, to be a good vlog. It's just, again, it's very, very long. I don't know if that how it ends up with all these other vloggers that does long vlogs and then they have to sit down with it and cut a lot out and piece it together and get it to look right. That's going to be the next thing for me to figure out. And if that's fun for me and it don't, 
it don't seem hard work and I can get it figured out and it don't take too long, I may try to start doing that more if I can find a lot of good things like that to vlog about. So that's my plan and that's what I want to do. So I need to work on that video so I can hurry up and get it up soon. Back in the day, I used to, when I made a video that day, I put it up that day, or at least by that night. <clears throat> I did not want to be two or three days or a week or two or three weeks behind on getting my videos up. I wanted, when y'all watched the video, I wanted y'all to be seeing not something that I've done done way in the past, you know, two or three days or weeks away. I wanted it to be just recent. As soon as I done it, I wanted y'all to see it. And I, all the other vloggers, theirs is like way behind, you know. I don't like that. But my videos lately has been two or three days behind anyway. And I know doing this big long one and me having to uh, really work with it and cut and piece together and all. If I can even figure out how to do that. If I can't figure out how to do it, I'm just going to chunk this vlog and not even put it in. I may try to cut out and put, you know, the good parts. Like I'll show the books and I'll, where we went last night, I'll put a video up of just that maybe. I can cut. But it's just getting it pieced together like one big long vlog is what I'm wanting to try to do. So, <clears throat> we shall see. But I don't want it to be too long down the road before I get this video up is what I'm saying. I don't like being way behind with it. Okay, we are almost done. We've got two more books. This one here is um, The Biggest, Most Beautiful Christmas Tree. All right. There we go. So that's what I'm going to work on then, is that, well then by that time, it'll be late evening, and Elizabeth will be coming in from work, and it may even be late enough that Albert will be coming in, and we got to figure out something for supper, and, and then eat supper, sit back, relax, I'll watch videos while I'm eating supper, he'll watch TV while he's eating supper. Elizabeth will go in her room and eat supper and watch whatever she watches in there on her computer or read a book or something or talk to somebody on the phone. Uh, that'll be our evening. Then they'll go to bed and I'll stay up and watch more videos and do some more crafting. I'm still working on my... It had been a while... That's not what I want to do. It had been a while... Since I worked on that Christmas cross stitch I've been working on. And I got to thinking about it. Lord, we're in December. I need to hurry up and get this done. So I picked it up and started working on it again. I've got all of the green done. I'm now working on the red. Which is the ribbon wrapped around it and the bow tied. And then I have the red words in it. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I'll get it finished in time. Did I even, y'all, I don't even know if I taped that. See, talking, my mind can't concentrate on what I'm doing. I better put a little bit, I feel like that's not taped. <gasps> ah. I'm watching me, so y'all know whether I did it or not, don't you? <laughs> hmm. Alright, so that's the blue, the light blue and the red. Now I need the dark blue. Again. Again, again, again. I wonder. I could cut. That's kind of wrinkled, but it'll straighten me out. Does that look too bad? Should I use that? I think I will. 
I don't think that really matters. So, of course, I wanted it to be another straight one again. This is the one that's not a Christmas one. Thomas breaks a promise. That's not going to work. That's going to be too many. Maybe I can fold that all the way over, though. Maybe it'll work. Here, I'm going to try it. That looks like the middle. The only thing is I didn't want it the tape to actually get on the book. So maybe it won't peel it off and hurt it much. Okay. All right, now on this one, let's just fold a little bit in and we won't do corners. Fold it all the way over like that. And that will cover it all up. What's the matter, buddy? Are you miserable? Are you hurting, boo? I'm all sorry. I not know what to do first, yeah? I wish I did. Okay. Alrighty then. We are done. Yay. Ha 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 ha. So. We actually have, we have two up and down like this, and then one sideways of the dark blue. We have two up and down like this, and one sideways of the red. And then we have two up and down and one sideways of the light blue. There we go! Ain't it so cool and neat? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books for nine days before Christmas at the calendar. For Gracie Girl to open up her books and Granny read them to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fun, so fun, so fun. All right, guys, uh-oh, don't, oh crap, now I can't lift it up. I guess I gotta loosen it to lift it up. <laughs> okay, 43 minutes to do that, almost an hour, oh my word, see what I mean, y'all? Nine books to wrap, nine little old books. Good thing I didn't clean them on the camera, it would have been an hour. <gasps> I can't do nothing short. <laughs> okay. I am not a bear. Hope y'all enjoyed that with me. I'm out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm gone. Totally.